Have you ever gone into the grocery store and actually looked at the difference between the conventional foods and the organic foods? Well, conventional may be bigger, less in price, they may be shinier, and the organic ones are definitely smaller most of the time, and they maybe don't look as good or last as long. Average newborn today is born with over 250 chemicals in them. So by the time we've hit middle aged on up, can you imagine how much chemicals we have in our fat tissue? And what type of overload is that doing to our body and to our brains? Maybe you're one of those people that's thinking, I can't think like I used to, or I'm not as sharp as I was, my balance might be off. Or maybe you're trying to, you're doing all you can to get this weight off and you just can't. Chances are you have a high chemical overload and that's why you want to reduce this overload. And the way to do that is to eat foods that are less processed and more organic. And yes, organic is more expensive. But what I find is I don't eat as much with organic food because it's more nutrient dense. So my brain is saying, hey, you don't need to eat more of this because I have what it needs in order to repair, regenerate, and grow. So think about that. Maybe something does cost more, but you're not having to consume as much of it and you're decreasing your chemical overload, which are all win-wins. Remember, small, consistent action steps reap great rewards. Health is a choice. Choose to be alive and well.